immediate thought was that was a little early. A little fast, it felt like to me. You guys are right, maybe a little premature there. It's a little early. I'm not satisfied with that stoppage. Mark Goddard is one of the finest referees in MMA, who has officiated bouts in every nook and corner of the world. But recently, he has been making mistakes at rubbing MMA fans the wrong way. Very quick stoppage. I told Mark, I'm like, I'm, still, I'm good, I'm good. And then all of a sudden, he stops it. It was a stoppage. It was b Effing. Is his decision making going awful? He said Goddard has stopped his fights early before. Alvy is obviously mad. Or are his critics simply too harsh? The ref screwed that up too. Yeah. The ref jumped in there and, and he thought the ref was breaking it up. The ref did a really, really bad job. Here are the 10 worst Mark Goddard moments in MMA. Worst stoppage. If I can bring back Steve Mazzagatti. Kick things off with the final installment of the rivalry between Daniel Cormier and Stipe Miocic at UFC 252. Having won a fight each, Cormier and Miocic battled for ultimate glory in the finale, which was officiated by Mark Goddard. The bout was highly competitive until round three, when Miocic poked the eyeballs out of Cormier. Oh, good right hand. Big right hand by Stipe. Oh. Just seems, it just keep seems going, going, Daniel, keep going, Daniel, keep going, Daniel, keep going, don't swear, Hit keep harder. going. And despite DC's complaints, Goddard ruled it as a punch. I you dropped got, the hands. They Daniel, the fight. you got punched. Sit down, my friend. At the end of round three, Cormier told his cornerman that he couldn't see out of his left eye. Look at that one, knuckle deep in my eye. Give me, no, I can't see. Give me kicks. His That's eyes. Tough. That's Bad a tough break. Swollen. I've never seen his eye look anything like that. It's like off kilter. No doubt about it. The ref will look back at that and have to look at his work and say, man, I missed that one. Yep, no doubt. Oh, no. It's a bad one. There's no doubt about that. DC was a hundred percent round. Right. Which he later said was the main reason why he lost the fight. Cormier was later transported to the hospital with a tear in his eye, following which Goddard issued an official apology, saying that he missed what he shouldn't have. Although it was still a tough one to call, Goddard didn't apologize to Kobe Covington though. Very quick stoppage. I mean, I was still in the fight. I told Mark, I'm like, I'm still, I'm good, I'm good. I'm holding the double leg, I'm good. I'm intelligently defending the back of my head. And then all of a sudden he stops it. It was a stoppage. It was effing, you know, it was the whole week, you know, I was set up from the starts. The first welterweight title fight between Colby Covington and Kamaru Usman at UFC 245 was an absolute slobber knocker, but both men had had their moments. But Covington felt cheated as he accused Goddard of allegedly favoring Usman. Covington said that he won the first round fairly easily and almost finished the champion in the second round with a body shot, which was ruled as a blow to Usman's family jewels by Goddard. Then, Covington claimed that he was poked in the eye in the fourth round and Goddard missed it as well. But the worst happened in the fifth round where Usman dropped the challenger with big shots to his broken jaw. Covington did his best to survive on the ground, but Goddard jumped in to stop the fight as he was desperately trying to defend himself. Covington said the stoppage was too early. But even without it, it was a fairly controversial fight that caused a lot of debate among fight fans. Not come to you and tell you in good conscience that it was an early stoppage. I can tell you I was surprised. Colby did not want that fight over. And generally when you get TKO'd, you want that referee to step in. At least it wasn't as bad as Jimmy Krupp as Sam Elvey. The UFC 234 middleweight belt was one way traffic throughout, with Krupp dropping Elvey with a big right hand early, before backing off, assuming that Goddard would wave off the fight. And that hurt his oh, who walked off as if the fight was done? Should have stopped. But the British referee didn't. The momentary hesitation allowed Alvi to return to his feet. But Kroot floored him again and followed up with ground and pound, with his punches landing either on Alvi's arm or the mat. Ladies and gentlemen, he doesn't have much to defend with right now. Alvi is done! Jimmy Kroot 10 and 0! And Alvi said something about that. He said Goddard has stopped his fights early before, and Goddard stopped the fight again. And Alvi is obviously mad because this is the second time he had talked to us about this, Anna. Right. And Goddard did stop it, maybe early. I don't know. Alvi even gave Goddard a thumbs up, but the veteran referee called the fight. He's covering his head, covering his thumbs up. He's got a thumb up. Goddard doesn't listen, doesn't see it, stops it. Angering the otherwise smiling Sam, who stormed out of the cage immediately. <laughs> even Dana White wasn't happy with the decision. The stoppage, I thought it was a bad stoppage. A lot of those shots were hitting him on the arm, but he was obviously hurt. Um, but the fight could have gone a little longer. We could have saw a little bit more Crute. Bad stoppage in my opinion. Jimmy Crute tried the walk away. What, what did you think of that? You well, think no. The ref screwed that up too. Yeah. The ref jumped in there and, and he thought the ref was breaking it up. The ref did a really, really bad job. 
Real poor refereeing in that fight. Now the Dana White contender series bout between JP Baez and Jacob Silva was stopped prematurely as well. Right from the word go, Baez controlled the fight with his grappling, improving positions and putting Jacob Silva in trouble before locking a guillotine late in the first round. The choke looked deep, but neither did Silva tap nor did he show any signs of going limp. Yet Goddard abruptly jumped in and stopped the fight, much to the annoyance of Silva. He tries to end the fight. That's pretty tight, you see. Can't see what's going on here for Silva. He's he's out. He's out. He's out. Silva wasn't out. It's over. I'm not asleep. It's over. Who protested the call in the immediate aftermath? It didn't matter though. I'm breathing. It's over. That's so unfortunate, man. I think he was. I think he was fine. That's all my. That's what I'm looking at. No. You see him going like this. As soon as Mark touches him, you see his hand. Yeah. I, I think that's just a rough, a rough call, unfortunately. Now, while JP buys versus Jacob Silva was a clear-cut mistake, the next few calls from Goddard erupted in massive debates on social media. Starting with the first fight between Israel Adesanya and Alex Pereira. Adesanya drew first blood by rocking Pereira late in the first round, but the Brazilian was saved by the bell. Pereira came back strong in round two, having the better of the striking exchange. In rounds three and four, Adesanya controlled the fight with his wrestling encounter. And by the start of round 5, he was cruising. Knowing that he had to pull a rabbit out of his hat, Pereira went in for the kill, connecting with a thunderous left hook that put Izzy on rubber legs midway through the final round. For the next few seconds, Pereira was the hammer and Izzy was the nail. The champ was getting lit up but he was still on his feet, although wobbly. And then Goddard stopped the fight. Oh, no! Many, including Izzy, that thought the stoppage was early, and the last starbender even joked about how Steve Mazzagotti would have been a better ref for this bout because of his notoriety for stopping fights late. You're really not happy with the stoppage? Well, I was fine. I knew my, like, I could see everything happen. I was, my eyes might have rolled back a little bit, but I was lucid. At least let me go out of my shield. But I don't think I would have gone out because I was still there. Worst stoppage. Just fucking bring back Steve Mazzagotti. <laughs> Goddard once again found himself in the middle of controversy when he officiated the vacant light heavyweight title fight between Jiri Prohaska and Alex Pereira at UFC. 295, Pereira secured his second title win in four octagon bouts with a second round stoppage of Jerry Pahaska. However, the fight had a controversial moment when Goddard intervened to stop the bout late in round two. After getting picked apart with leg kicks in round one, Pahaska came out swinging for the fences and was cracked by a counter shot. Pereira followed up with more hooks and elbows, and although Pahaska didn't appear to be completely out, Goddard stopped the fight. It's a big right hand. Was that was a little early. A little fast. It felt like to me. I'm not gonna lie. He drops and sinks. Wait, you're right. You guys are right. Maybe a little premature there. It's a little early. I'm not satisfied with that stoppage. Causing an uproar on social media, with many top professional fighters criticizing the referee. Prohaska didn't complain about the stoppage, but Aljamain Sterling did after losing his belt to Sean O'Malley at UFC 292. In the first round of their bantamweight clash, O'Malley frustrated Sterling by stuffing his takedowns with perfect range and distance management. As a result, Sterling was forced into overextending in round two, and that's when he got clocked with a counter right. As soon as Sterling crashed, onto the canvas, O'Malley followed up with a barrage of huge shots to the face. Although Sterling wasn't completely out, he was taking a ton of damage, and the moment he turned his back on O'Malley to presumably try to get back to his feet, Goddard called the fight. Sterling on him. It looked like Aljo was still moving. I was kind of surprised at the stoppage. I, he was still moving. He was. He was. I moving. mean, look, you want to give the champion a chance to recover. Sterling wasn't happy and he vented out his frustration with a tweet that said, It was very odd to me. I never went out. I was moving on the ground, but that's the game. Marlon Marias understands that feeling too, Aljo. In 2020, Marlon Marias faced Corey Sanhagen in a clash that was going in favor of the Brazilian thanks to low kicks that did some damage. Corey initially planned to play the long game, but after getting and his legs chopped down, he pressed forward and early in round two, he had Marias dazed with a spinning kick. I mean, that's oh, straight away. Oh! 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 
But as soon as Marias rolled into guard, Goddard pulled the trigger. Marias later complained about the stoppage being early. Next up is Mike Perry vs Danny Roberts at UFC 204, where Perry emerged victorious against Roberts in what was one of the best fights of the year. Perry started the fight guns blazing as Roberts counted effectively in the early exchanges. The American's power became more apparent in the second round as he landed heavy haymakers, but Roberts stood tall despite the onslaught. Determined to not let the judges get involved, Perry fulfilled his promise to quote unquote kill Roberts in the third round. The fight was vicious, with Perry delivering a massive knee and punches that forced Mark Goddard to intervene, although some believe the referee could have intervened sooner, as Robert seemed to go limp before Perry's final punches on the ground. Goddard could have gotten in there earlier there, that fight could have been stopped as Robert fell to the ground. Once he's down here, flat bull shoulder blades down. Gotta stop that fight. The next one was the absolute worst Mark Goddard moment and it came somewhere in Russia. In a heavyweight clash between Vladimir Seliverstov and Alexander Dankov, at Fight Night's Global 85, Seliverstov should have earned the spotlight for his big knockout against Dankov, but the focus instead shifted to referee Mark Goddard due to his questionable stoppage. In the first minute of the first round, Seliverstov dropped Dankov with a powerful punch. Oh! Dankov connected, that's it! He's out! but hesitated to follow up expecting the referee to intervene. Goddard chose not to stop the fight and instructed Seliverso to continue attacking. Seliverso is out. Oh, Mark Goddard's going engaged. Wow, that was... Meaning that Dankov, who had just regained his wits, took more blows and was knocked out for a second time in one night. So th That's it. These were 10 of the worst Mark Goddard moments. Which one was the absolute worst? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.